Typography JS is something that, uh, well, typography in general is like, I'm like a web developer who's also pretty interested in design. And so typography and CSS are like not great friends. Like you, you, you implement typography in CSS, but it's always feels a lot harder than perhaps it should be. Um, and so after struggling with this for many years, um, I kind of like came on the solution that I've been really happy with. Um, so typography JS is like, it, it basically gives you high level API for expressing design ideas in the browser. Um, and so, you know, this whole page here, all the CSS is generated by typography JS. And over here, you can see some like, kind of like interactive controls for manipulating, you know, the values being passed into the API. So for example, if we take the font size and then we like move it up, you know, everything adjusts. And it's kind of like it's like zooming in and out, but what's really happening is, is that typography JS, it basically it's like a formula for generating CSS. And it takes like all these like different interrelationships between different things and like has like a, a, a way of like describing the relationship to each other. And so when you change one of the values, everything just kind of like moves in, 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 in harmony with each other. So the same thing, it's like we change the scale ratio. And the scale ratio is like the ratio between the body font size and then like headers. So if you move this up and down, you know, just the header size is, you know, changing. And same thing with like line height, you know, if we move that, then not just like the line height between the paragraphs, but like the distance between like a header and like text is also, you know, moving up and down. Um, if we change like the paragraph space, this is more straightforward because it's just uh, between paragraphs. But anyway, same sort of thing where, you know, everything's like moving up and down. And so what this lets you do is it lets you very quickly explore kind of like different solutions in design space. You know, it's like, you know, like you're like, let's start here. And then we jump over here and do this and that and the other thing. And like much more quickly kind of like explore around to find what's the optimal solution without being like, oh crap, I wrote, you know, 50 lines of CSS and then I wrote a bunch of like spacing code all over here and like change anything now would be impossible so I'm just going to leave it as this. But this lets, you know, it all be flexible. So you can do stuff like, you know, picking different fonts, um, you know, you do that and we do like Oswald or something like that. So you can like try different fonts really easy as long as they're on Google fonts anyways. Um, anyway, so on and so forth. Um, so another interesting thing it lets you do is that now you're describing your typography theme as a JavaScript object. So that actually lets you ship around, you know, different themes. Um, so these are ones that like are uh, distributed with typography JS. And so you can flip through them and you're like, they're all quite different from each other. Um, and like, you know, here's GitHub and uh, here's one that was, I really like the Wikipedia one. Looks a lot like Wikipedia. Uh, and then like for old school WordPress, people. Uh, we have the original Kubrick um, theme. But anyways, um, and I spent like a week, you know, just like reverse engineering different websites and like trying to express in typography JS, you know, just to make sure that like my abstractions were good. Um, One minute. Cool. Um, yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, so like a big, kind of like a big idea I keep returning to is that for any problem that you're working on, like one of the most important things to figure out early on is like what's the right level of abstraction or abstractions for thinking about that problem. And I feel like, you know, typography on the web, we, we get stuck so often because we're working at a really low level abstraction where design is actually a really high level um, uh, abstraction. Um, and so instead of, so typography JS, instead of be like, oh, like, should the spacing between paragraphs be like 20 pixels and 25 or 25 pixels? You just like, well, hey, how how like like should 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 the site feel kind of like spread out or should it feel kind of like compact? And then you can just say, okay, line height and like, we it's compact and now it's kind of all spread out. Um, and then that like makes it much feel much simpler to like try different stuff and do different stuff. So type over jazz.